Let's get it out of the way. I'm not wearing makeup because I got a pink eye. I don't know how I got a pink eye. In a pandemic, I wash my hands religiously. So it might be an allergy pink eye. I was around a cat. I don't... So, uh, I'm not wearing makeup because I have pink eye. Why would I put makeup on if I have pink eye? So, um, sorry. Probably the first Disney video in years I haven't had makeup on, so... Welcome back to Every Disney Movie Ever. My name is Justin. I'm watching Every Disney Movie Ever. Today I'm going to talk about Endurance. Endurance is a 1999 theatrical release. It's written and directed by Leslie Woodhead, cinematography by Ivan Strasberg, editing by Sar Klein and Oral Nori, and the music is by John Powell. Leslie Woodhead is best known for Sorvencia, A Cry from the Grave, Nova, Children of Beslan, and The Holocaust on Trial. Ivan Strasberg is best known for Bloody Sunday, Cracker, Dirty Pretty Things, and The Killing Fields. Sar Klein is best known for Almost Famous, After the Fall, Thin Red Line, and Jumper. Oral Nori Adi, I always forget the third name, I'm a mess is best known for Game of Thrones, Cracker, GBH, and Generation Kill. John Powell is best known for Solo A Star Wars Story, The Born Identity, Rio, and How to Train Your Dragon. The film stars Haile Gaber Selassie and Jonas Zerga. Haile Gaber Selassie plays himself. He is an Olympic athlete. He won the gold medal for um, long distance running and from Ethiopia, and he's technically won the gold medal twice, but when this movie came out, it had only been once, and then he does it again, I think in 2006? 2004? One, uh, 2000 even year. He wins it again, but, and this is the only one at once, that's what he's best known for. Jonas Serga plays young Hailey. I'll explain it. And he's only known for this. I have it written down. Hailey Gaber Selassie won the gold medal in the 10,000 meter in 1996, and then he won it again in 2000, but this movie obviously came out in 1998. It's technically a documentary, but also technically not. This film was very interesting in the fact that it is telling the story of Hailey Gaber Selassie, but it, it, and it, at the very beginning, they're interviewing him. It's very much a documentary style at the very beginning, but then it goes into almost all of a sudden a very narrative storytelling of his childhood. There's very little dialogue. It is shot very much in a documentarian style. However, it's all recreated. They didn't film him at the Olympics because they didn't know he was going to win the gold medal at the Olympics. So they recreated everything. They have Jonas play a young him and they show us his childhood, but in a very documentary format. It's like they asked Hailey what happened and they recreated it and shot it in a documentary style. And there are some subtitles because obviously they're not speaking English. I mean, they speak English sometimes, but hello. And then they cover like, you know, how his mother died and how his dad was kind of never believed in his running and a bunch of siblings and how hard he worked and how much he ran and you know, what it was like living growing up in his, on his farm and all that kind of stuff and how he just wanted to run. And then he just slow, and it did super focus on how he just like, became part of a team and then went to the Olympics. It was much more focused on like his childhood, but then it showed us him running in the Olympics. So they just like restaged the entire situation. They restaged the entire Olympics for this film because there's no, I mean, yes, of course there's some archival footage, but what the shots they have, they restaged the Olympics. They restaged the 10,000 meter. It was, and him winning. And like they restaged the whole thing. It was, and I'm sure they used archival footage for some of the stuff, like maybe when he's actually winning the gold medal, but, cause obviously that's very televised. But I feel like with some of the shots they had, they restaged him running with um, his opponents, you could say. Um, it's a docudrama, that's what they said. Uh, it was very interesting and I, I had a good time. I will, I did mention that his mother died, but obviously this is not a fictional story. Like his real mother actually died when he was young. We're not like counting documentaries with parent deaths. Like we're not gonna, like, I'm not gonna count his mother's death as a parent death in a Disney film because that actually happened to him. Like that's so disrespectful. So just like, if you have any kind of questions like that, that's not what we're doing here, okay? I got a little emotional at the end when he won and his dad was like so proud of him and his whole family was like freaking out. I loved that, I, it was very moving. 
Um, but otherwise that's everything I have. It's it's pretty good. It's not the best. Um, it's very like, it's a very interesting format. It's something I haven't really ever watched like that before. And um, I enjoyed that aspect of it very much. But uh, yeah, otherwise uh, it's pretty good. Uh, I wouldn't say it's like, you know, an amazing documentary, but it was interesting and it was well done. So my final rating is six medals out of 10. Our total movie count is. Print test phone crack count are still the same. If you want to keep up with the movie I'm watching, you want to follow me on Instagram or Twitter, you'll find out what movie I'm watching when. I put out videos every Monday and Friday and sometimes Wednesday. Join Patreon. Buy merch. Until next time, comment, like, subscribe, and I'm sure you are so you do. And don't be an abusive dad about it. <laughs> Let your kids follow their dreams, kind of. Okay. <laughs> Wow, I'm embarrassed about not wearing makeup. We got a lot of insecurities.